have so many friends. Women's volleyball. Just find the opener. I'll work on it. Today I'm going to take you through what a day in the life looks like for me. It's about 6 a.m. here in Denver. I like to wake up a little early. We have practice today um, just to do devotionals, daily intentions, just to start my day off, right? Follow along. for my morning reading and devotional. Right now I'm in Matthew. I'm reading Matthew and then just starting out little daily intentions. Um, I think this just really helps me get my head in the right spot and focus on what's important before every day, before every practice. So I love my morning time with my coffee and my Bible. the same exact breakfast I think every single day unless I'm traveling or somewhere else for about a year and a half now and it is clean oats so I just get the oats at the bulk section at the store and they're super cheap and then I add chia seeds I forgot what these were called first I guess chia seeds I just get a little teaspoon scoop for them so I know how much Keep it pretty consistent every day. This is hard. Here we go. Teaspoon of chia seeds. And then I always put cinnamon. Way too much cinnamon in them. And then I add stevia just for a little sweetness. This looks like I'm putting it on a lot, but I'm really not. I also have eggs and I put spinach and onions in them. And I cook these for a minute, and then I put in one egg and a couple egg whites, and it's super good. Okay, it's not the prettiest, I'll admit it, but this is the oatmeal. I added blueberries, bananas, some honey, and almond butter, some plain almond butter. Favorite almond butter. And then the egg whites with the onions, spinach. Okay, that looks really ugly, but you get the idea. It tastes really good. And this makes me feel so good for training every single day. I just found what works for me. It is cold this morning. It's been snowing for like the past. <laughs> that didn't sound good. It's been snowing for the past like three days, including our game. Hannah Adler with the goal and the Pioneers find the opener in the snow, in the cold. So it is currently 15 degrees outside. It's time to go to practice. to practice about 30 to 45 minutes before just to prepare, get ready, um, get my catapult which is a GPS tracking device um, and then just change for practice and then it's time to go. Shout out to the best 
athletic trainer in the biz, Matt Robinson. I don't need anything today, though. Thank you, though. Staying healthy. Staying healthy. Not even a little. Later. <laughs>film that my coach sent me really quick before I go to Starbucks to study and get some homework done before my 2 p.m. class. A lot of people have asked me what the hardest thing about being a student athlete is and I think it would just be balancing everything. It's definitely doable but I think you have to get on a schedule with everything from practice, two plus hours a day, film, lift, team meetings, individual meetings, and then I work as well, I coach. So it's just a lot to balance, but it's definitely doable once you get on a routine and a schedule. And especially in season when you're traveling all the time, it's hard to stay on track with everything, but luckily a lot of our homework stuff we can do online, get notes from other people, so it's doable, but it's a lot of work. got back from class I had investments and we learned all about stock valuation I am a real estate development and finance major actually I probably won't get the finance major because I'm graduating early to play soccer but I will get the real estate development major and I've taken a lot of finance classes I definitely did not know what I was going to do coming into college. I knew I wanted to be in the business world and you had a really good business school, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. It was just through meeting people and talking to people that I learned that I was super interested in commercial real estate and finance and it's definitely going to be something good to have in my back pocket during and after I play soccer. Just made some dinner, super lazy. It was some chicken that I already cooked. Spinach, kale, broccoli, peppers, carrots, and hummus. I usually am super lazy on school days, so I just throw together a salad with anything I have. Not super fancy, definitely not a chef. I'll work on it. finished up some mobility work and it's time for me to go to bed because it's nine o'clock and I'm a grandma. I hope you enjoyed following along today on a day in the life. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. Make sure to like this video and follow me on social media. Thanks for following along and I'll see you next time. Good night. <laughs> that didn't sound good.